Okay, here's one, you guys, I'm going to talk about the Sermon on the Mount. I don't think I did that one, and I don't know if I'll go all the way into it, but I'll just give you some of the numbers on it. And there's like some different things I look. When you look at the baskets, you know how there is one basket, but then each of the disciples had one, so that's 12, like the 12 rounds. That's a, they used their clothes as baskets to put them in there, and the bread was multiplied. And what did we have? We had five, and we had five loaves of bread and we had two fishes so the the bread I do it like the bread's cut today but it's actually circles so you go back to the, the circles here and then see so you've got each of these whisker Pisces of light in there and then connecting the belt it's a school bus out there sorry guys it's the 13 like I've been talking about Right, so you got your two fish swimming in there. So you got the cross laid out. And you got your five bread, three up, and then two on the sides. You know, then we got seven, which is spiritual completeness, right? The 12 baskets, okay. And the basket's 360, these flat cakes. And there's the two fish, and there's the five in the middle like that. If you've seen these shapes before. And then, you know, I just play with this stuff like this, okay? And I come back up here, and we got a sight, the two fish, right? It's two circles, so it's 360 on one side across to make this. So we got 360, right? So that's two 720s. So 360 times 4 is, see, the 44, the 144. 1440. See, and then you can add your powers 10, 100, 1000 to get you up the powers of 10. <clears throat> and that way, see, that, that takes you up. And it was a little boy that brought them, see, and he had the fish. And then they gathered all, and it was 12 baskets full left over. And then, see, that's symbolic of people left that still had questions and they finished. Some people still didn't understand by the end. A lot of them later you find it and understand because they just came for the miracles. They didn't understand what this meant. The division, and they broke them up into the groups. And he fed them. And it was bread and meat, and everyone had as much as they wanted. Just always remember, you guys, what you're putting in your mind because it make you sick, okay, your frontal lobes. That's like the mark they talk about. It's to do Satan's work or God's work, and you know that you're a good person. You know who you are, and so does God. God knows you better than you know yourself because you have restriction to your mind here, okay? What do you create and what you manifest? So what do you imagine? What do you put in there? What are you downloading, so to speak, into your brain? What is it you're putting in there is what you're going to get out, okay? True vibration comes from spirit. Do not, don't consume trash, junk energy, and that's food or anything spiritual junk or bad energy. It's not productive. It damages your system over time, and that's how you fall back into things also. You do your best, though. Wise decisions with discernment, you know, that's the sense of lighting up your spiritual awareness. But your full activation, you know, that is not achievable 100% here in the Spirit. But you will be able to feel the Holy Spirit and all that, you know, and we'll just leave that at that. You know, the presence of God and how far you get with that is up to you and the Father. Okay, and this is the balance is what I'm talking about, you guys. Being able to balance yourself is what we work on constantly and dealing with our moods and attitudes and and the way things make us feel and going back and forth. Okay, remember when you move, Christ moves. So when you make that effort, he's going to help you. God's going to step in. It's simple. You step into the tone of truth and speak life. Just simply set by your example and, and show others what God has showed you. Okay, and there's the hands with the baskets, the bread. So you got sight from the two fish. The flower of life up there. Christ, the pyramid, one mount, one direction, one discernment. Lord. And what else do we got 
here. We got... Jesus died for us, you guys. You know this. For the church. No, don't, don't just always worry about yourself, you know what I mean? You got to know how to take care of yourself before you can help others, but you got to worry about the full council, the body of Christ. We are the halls, walls, floorboards. We are one flesh union together. It's not a brick building, okay? It was never that simple just to go there. It was always spirit. It was twisted around. God said many times, you build a house for me, what house will you build when it can't hold me? He don't live there because there's the whole world can't hold God. We've got... See, when Jesus hits you, it's like the heart attack. It's the gospel heart attack. Okay? Some people have no direction out here. No discipline. No conduction. Because they don't draw their spirit from anywhere. Or they have very little and it's drained out because they don't learn to hold it. Or increase that. And that comes with time and understanding. And open heart. Many things. And then. Uh, just like the cat's ears and stuff. I talked about the cats and the other ones. The two mountains. The rising. Okay. You know. Uh, this this it was about uh, sugar coating it. Political correctness. Sometimes you just got to be rough with people. Sometimes you got to put it out there. But you know what I mean. Other times you got to be gentle. We're all going to go through our emotions. Okay. In Christ's spirit, we are free, you guys. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And He's given us these signs and all the warnings and everything. Okay. To so the end times. The sound of freedom and the sound of warning. We got the heart of the Lord. And just like the cats, the rising of the sun. So you can just in the symbolic of like this when Christ comes through. Just in the sense, you know, you can take whatever you want, do whatever you want. Just like the cat sees better at night, the cat vision, the me owl that I talked about in the other one. The clover, see the 33, the Y. It's always positive for a negative, you guys. Clover in the corner, the cornerstone. Okay, the cat's tail, balance, detour, distraction. Right? Time will tell the killer of the giants. When it's all done, the hickory dickory dock. See, one. See, the dick is descendants in Cain, and the. The hick sows is Hebrews, the Eber, and then you've got hickory, dickory, doc, the decor, okay, many different things, but like I said in my other videos, 11th hour is when the false bridegroom comes. The false Messiah comes. Twelve is the second advent. And one o'clock is the great white throne judgment. Between twelve and one is the millennium day teaching. So the hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one and down he come. Back around that golden section. Hickory dickory dock. So the flesh, I'm gone. I'm free. I'm free and step in the spirit, you guys. And see, and this is the grandfather clock. The Antichrist release at 11. And the end of the millennium is at 1. And there's, see, you've got your, it goes a lot up into it, you know what I mean? But the Hicksos, people leave them out. Two white people on the eighth day, you guys. You got many different things, the atoms and the different things, and look what do they do? Teach it. Turn around. Got destructions out of it. Now look at it. Here's one George Washington. Wash in the tongues. Mix it up the language and turn it into the craziness we got today. 
too school too cool for school. Yep, some a lot of us were. That's why we wouldn't understand their garbage they were trying to show us, or we didn't buy it and we did what we got to do to had to do to get by. And a lot of us know the truth, and now we know why we didn't, even as a young age in kindergarten, could stand out and see that stuff like, what's going on? What is this here? And just watch people go back and forth. And why the majority of the people didn't understand the divisions, the groups, the way they broke people up. All that stuff, you guys. You know, all that stuff. You know, the CH, I call it the Santa Claus. Who? An L. We put God way out there at the end. What? Who? God? Huh? So you take that C, the Christ, and it turns it into a smile. You take the two O's. There's a lot of things you can do with the words, you guys. Get sight by spirit. Just like when you try to start talking about Jesus, there's a lot of people get to turn in the knob, 360 and 180, and turn it everything around on you. There's a plan I was just drawing, baseball. I got a bunch of things where I wrote out all the sports in a different book. The ant anticipate ant. And we tick the eye, pat, pat, patience of the energy. We're the workers. We are the ones. We're the children of God trying to free the minds that are trapped. To bring them to understanding, to bring them to life, you guys. That's what a worker is. You just simply live your life and God will lead you. And to other people's lives to help. The flowers to flow, the direction, the liquid. You are the urn, the energy, the fleshly vessel. And death equals life, you guys, to that spirit. Now, on the green... That was something that was there, but the light, you guys, there's symbology all over. I hope these videos have helps people out. There's like this was the book one of the times when I'm, I was looking at this stuff. The different things, and you gotta remember what the names of stuff are the lunar. See, I'll go over things like this was on the uh, another paper, but I'll go over and over things, you guys, until I see it, until I see it, until I get something out of it, and then you'll keep getting more and more and more out of your stuff. So just because you've done one thing, make sure you keep checking it out or keep you a notebook, and it makes things really easy, and it makes things, you know, go a lot smoother. It's like we've got the spirit. Um, you know, and you got a pirate, a pirate. Spirit, the six pirate, the ships of Tarshish, the ships of Tyrus, the commerce, the human soul traffickers, sex slaves, all that stuff, the murderers doing all that stuff, Tyrus. The harp of God, Ariel, is the melody of harmony. Remember David calming him down? Spe the giants, the Geber, the offspring, the children of Cain. Crystal, cry. S is a six, tall. There's many different things you can do. You know, you just keep messing with it and seeing what it brings you out. Chris, Christen. In the stall, you're waiting in your vessel by Christ. Okay, the spirit, the warming spirit of Christ, of God. Like the wind, rustling wind. It moves in you, the comfort and the love of Jesus. See, and then on the other hand, you take it and it's the pillar of light. 
as the sick see so you're awakened out of that weakness of man and to the pie that's right the pie the pillar the pi the rit that's right writ and this was um denomination and some other stuff like division and christian was supposed to be chris Christ man, Christ woman is what we take it as. But when this name was first given, you guys, it was given as a taunt. I've got a movie. Um, I took the one down, the clip, but I'll put a, uh, another clip back up there. It's like when you see the Pope and them guys meet. Who do you see next to him? The curly heads, don't you? The curly hair. Who do you think that is? Descendant of Cain. All the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And people still want to run things. By the law, when the law is good, but we fulfill it by the spirit. Things are supposed to be run by spirit, not cracking someone in the head with the Bible. Okay, Christ became the Passover sacrifice for all time. Some more blood sacrifice. He steps in front every time you got to make it. So spirit is spirit, the long and straight. Go the distance, you guys, and to the point, the fixed point on the head. And then we can spur it. And that to get your horse, your transportation, your boat, your flesh to pick up speed or move in a spiritual direction. Now, he said, Paul, why do you kick against the goads? You know what a goad is? That's a nail and a stick. And you use it to move the cattle when they don't want to move. And their hides are all thick, so you're not poking holes in them. You just, it, it's, it's, it's be like a, a, a pencil or something without a sharp end or even the eraser and jam it into you. You know, you, ow, you'd move. That's what it does, only it's not painful like that to them unless someone gets to working on them or, mis or abusing the animals. Okay, your golden section, you guys, that's your rail. You're riding to the end. See, there's many ways to spiral or try roll. And when you set a triangle in motion, what's it make? A cone. And what's a cone? It's the base is a circle. You spin the golden section. You can spin anything. I hope this helped you guys. That's the morning coffee wake up. How people need, no matter what it is, you need to wake up in the morning, center yourself with Christ. He knows what you need to get started, and He knows what's ahead of you. So make sure you take Him with you every morning. Or whenever it is that you're getting up, no matter where you go, because He loves you. He wants you to be there with Him. He wants to be with you, because you're His child. Love you guys. Bye.